Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking some baby rat ribs low and slow. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those you new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so as I said in today's video, we're going to be cooking some baby back ribs, low and slow, and we're going to be making some barbecue sauce, and we're also going to be making our own marinade to go with it. Now don't forget everything I use in the video today, there will be links in the description below, so make sure you check out the best place to get your Weber products. So what we'll do, is we'll jump straight into it. So we're just going to light our cue, so we're going to put that on high. So that's going to preheat for 10 minutes, and we'll put our baby back tray on ready leave space for our smoker box. Also to start with we're going to make our rub. Now I like to make my own rub. You can buy a stock rub if you like but we're going to make our own and I will put in the description below the ingredients for the rub that I'm actually making. So you need a bowl again mixing bowl and we're going to use three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of course salt a tablespoon of cumin and you add a tablespoon of garlic pepper we're going to add a tablespoon of chilli powder a tablespoon of paprika and then we'll finish it off with a tablespoon of old spice. And then what we're gonna do is just mix that with a fork. And now that's all mixed up, there's no big lumps in there. So now we're ready to get the ribs out. So the next step we're going to peel the membrane off the back of the ribs and what I we'll tend to do is just use a normal butter knife or a normal knife and just going to lift it under the back of the membrane there and then you want to grab it with some paper towel because that can be quite slippery and hopefully it should peel off in one piece. Like so, and this is the membrane. I'm not sure you'd like to be eating that, it'd be a bit like rubber. Let's get the rest of that membrane off there. So, next up, we're going to get our rub all over this meat, spread it on, and get that all rubbed in. And that is now ready to go on the queue. So we're just going to make our base in the sauce now. So we're going to use a tablespoon of our rub. Then we're going to put a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. A quarter of a cup of apple cider. And we'll just get that mixed around. And that's our basting sauce ready. So you can see our ribs literally fit on the trivet. So what we'll do is get these on a queue. So our queue's been here for 10 minutes. Got on a hoist, so it's time to get these ribs on. And we'll 
the uh, smoke packet on as well. And we'll come back, turn that down to, what we'll do now is turn that down to come back in about 45 minutes to baste them. All right, so we've been cooking now for about 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna baste these. It's been on for an hour and a half now, so it's just coming up to just under 200 degrees, it's staying stay black. So we're going to lift it up and give it another baste. Well, so these have been on for an hour and 50 minutes now, so we're just going to coat them with the barbecue sauce. That's been 10 minutes, so it's time to take these ribs off. So now we're just separating the meat, sliding the knife in between these bones. As you can see, there's plenty of meat on these ribs, especially for the whole family. As you can see, the meat is literally falling off the bone. Now, the knife I'm using today is a forever sharp and will be linked in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Now, this meat's come out so tender, the barbecue sauce should really enhance the flavour of the meat with the marinade and the basting sauce. So, now on to the final test the taste test. So, it's time to taste and see whether they taste any good. Now, the meat is literally falling off the bone. Mm. Those are superb. You can see the meat is literally pulled off. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it really informative. And those ribs, as you've seen, the meat was falling off the bone. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, make sure you check out the links in the description below and also there is the recipe down there as well if you want to make your own marinade or make your own barbecue sauce again and there will be the process of what I went through to actually make them. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you're finally getting value out of this content then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.